Hi everybody, welcome back to Critical Mass. Time for car number, review number two. Two days, two movies in a row, and both new movies. This time we went and saw New Mutants, the new Marvel flick. <laughs> in association with Marvel. In association, Stan Lee's executive producer. But we have no idea who these characters are. I know what I thought of the movie. Curious to see what you thought of New Mutants. Well, I think the trick to seeing this movie is drinking lots and lots and lots of coffee before you go to the movie. Because if you don't, you're going to fall asleep because it's so slow. Well, let's be fair. You started work last this morning at 2 a.m. And we went to a 7.30 show. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. You are ready for Betty Buy right now. Okay, but this <laughs> this movie, this this movie was like a library for about an hour. It's it's just quiet, quiet, ooh, quiet, quiet. No action, no intensity. Everybody talking like this. Boring, 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 boring for an entire hour before things start happening. Boring, boring, boring. boring. <laughs> and then when. <laughs> And then when the things do start happening, they're supposed to be really scary, okay? They're not scary. However, there was one thing in this movie. Those those guys were a little freaky Well, in the right, like, at a certain point. Like, not near the end when they started fighting, but at the beginning when they started coming out, I actually thought those guys were... That freaky a little bit. I, they're, they're freaky if you're like a 12-year-old. I I thought the design was actually pretty good, actually, for those guys. I didn't mind them. The other stuff didn't really scare me. The other characters are in it and that. However, I did not mind the movie. It what? was not. It what? was not. It what? was not. It was not action-packed by no means. It was a slow, drawn-out movie. And Sounds great. <laughs> but it was slowly building up characters and developing, and they would reveal a little of each person's power slowly. You didn't find out all at once. We didn't know what these characters was, so they had to introduce everybody's power. And then they had to introduce everybody's fear. So it, you, you didn't want all that in the first 10 minutes. They had to build it up. And so that's what they were trying to do. And they were trying to make it a little haunting. Did it scare us? No. Um, but again, take a look at the audience level that this is aiming at for. A lot younger than us. Okay. You and I are the old folks going to see this okay, movie. Okay, but I went to watch the first SpongeBob movie and enjoyed it. Okay, <laughs> I watched this movie and it was a snore fest. It wasn't scary. I didn't. I didn't say it was scary. I didn't mind the plot. I I did feel that the the ending was pretty weak. I I thought the ending. The ending was weak. The ending. The was, first hour was a <laughs> snore fest, and you said the ending was weak because they built it up and built it up and built it up. That here we go, something's going to happen. Something's and then what did happen was eh to me. So so let's make draw the connection. I think. This S, the Essex Corporation. Yes. Was that the corporation uh, that was experimenting on the little girl in Logan? I believe so. I would double check on that, but I believe so. Okay. They are the, you know, the bad guys, basically. Okay. Uh, in the Marvel Universe. Uh, kind of along the lines of, uh, oh, what are they, what? Cobra, not Cobra. That's uh, <laughs> G.I. Joe, the other guys. In Marvel. Oh, uh... Why am I drawing a blank? Hydra. Hydra! There we go. <laughs> Cobra, Hydra, the same thing. Um, yeah. See, I kind of came into this, because when we first saw the previews, I went, what is this? They're trying to introduce new superheroes and that? That's not what this is. 
they're not introducing us to new superheroes. We didn't come out of this movie saying, yeah, those are our new favorite superheroes now, right? We came out that these are troubled teenagers with a bad past, with, you know, abuse and all these other things. So that kind of changed my mind on the story. And as I'm watching it, I, I listen to the story and I listen to the plot. And it wasn't that bad. It wasn't action-packed. This is not an action-packed Marvel film. This is not, you know, Endgame. This is nowhere near. This isn't Captain, you know, America. This isn't any Iron Man. This isn't any of that. This is a psychological, more than anything, attempt at a movie. It's like a thriller with superpowers. Mind you, uh, although I thought this movie was boring... Like, boring. <laughs> um, the the characters themselves with their new powers, I thought they were interesting. Like, the blonde with her power. Yeah. Uh, the the other ones with... Their, well, their specific powers. I could see them doing another movie that was more X-Men-y. Uh, and there, they're like, they're like a new Fantastic Four kind of groupish thing. I, I don't think they're setting it up that way. No, I think this is a one-off. Yeah, but I I could see that happening, and it probably could be successful, just not see, in this psychological thriller kind of. Yeah, see, mode. I think you might see one or two of these characters, like the blonde, show up in a later film, um, as like an extra character kind of thing, and she could be good, she could be bad at that point. We because it's kind of down the road, right? <laughs> In this, in this movie, we know she's done bad things in the past, and she's done it on purpose. So, uh, all in all, I thought it was well acted. Overall, I wasn't the doctor, probably the weakest part of the of the cast, unfortunately. But that might not be for her acting ability; it's just her role. You know, this is a psychological thriller and a horror film. At the point, did we not know she's the bad guy? Had there been at least one or other two people around, guards or somebody, but she's the only one there. She has to be the bad guy. Like, it's no surprise. This is not a spoiler. You'll know the first second you see this person. Okay, so we made predictions on how we thought the movie would be out of 10 before yeah. we saw the movie. All right. I said it was going to be somewhere between a 6 and a 6.5. And no, no, no. What? I said between a six and a six and a half. You said five. Oh, I said five, five and a half. Yeah. Well, I'm happy to say that it didn't even make five for me. Uh, I gave Playing With Fire a three, and I'm going to give this a three and a half. Let's see. This is nowhere near Playing With Fire. Nowhere near as bad as Playing With Fire. Nowhere near it. Hear it. Paul, I think, is Mr. Grumpy Puss tonight <laughs> <laughs> because he's overtired. Um, so what was this out of 10 for you? Uh, this is around a 6. I, en I enjoyed the build-up, but the ending was bad. The you gave Tenet a 6, six, and, a six and a half. And the only reason I gave Tenet a 6 and a half is because I, I think most people won't understand the movie. And the, real, the whole story is really straight one-line story and come back. It's, it's all about the, oh, did you see that? Oh, did you see that? Oh, did you see that? I would watch Tenet 45 times before I watch this again. <laughs> well, we'll have to have a movie marathon one time and we can watch this back-to-back -back with Playing With Fire. Just to make it for fun. But uh, it's not as bad. Don't go into it thinking... It's good. Marvel superhero <laughs> movie. Don't go into it thinking it's a superhero movie. Go into it as if you're going to see... Scream or something along that line. But you know what? At least it wasn't a light in the sky with the end of the world at stake. Because that's every superhero movie ever. <laughs> it is? Fantastic Four. Light in the sky. Uh, Suicide Squad. Light in the sky. Oh, you mean like a beam? Yeah. Kind of thing? Oh. <laughs> you know, every movie's that. So at least they did try to do something different. They, and you know what? They hinted at it at the beginning of the movie. So I, I'm okay with, you know what? I gave it a six. I gave Tenet a six and a half. 
I gave it higher than you guys did. So there. And I'm giving this higher than a three and a half. Three and a half. You go to bed. Just just turn around and go to bed. I now. wish I did go to bed. <laughs> it almost put me to bed. And you know what the best part of it is? I made Paul pay. So until next time, uh, let us know what you guys think. Are you going out to do it? Paul obviously thinks Tenant is the movie to see. Uh, out of the two, I would see Tenant because it has to be seen in theaters more than your TV. If you can stream this, yeah, why not? It's not that bad to stream. Lots of coffee. <laughs> or don't work 15 hours and then go see a movie. One of the two. Well, why not check out some more of our other reviews down below. We have another movie coming up this weekend. We'll do another review by the end. Tune in for that one. Until next time, <laughs> Paul's going to bed, and I'm going to watch another movie. <laughs>